Hello there. In this short video I'm going to show you just how easy it is to install the four-court wind chaser flag. Right, let's have a look what I've got in the bag. We have everything we need to get this flag up and flying. Just undo the top, tip the contents out onto the ground. Okay, don't need the bag anymore, get rid of that. So we've got a pole and a flag ready to install. Just take the flag off the poles, sleeving it off. We'll put our pole together first. This is a three section pole, it goes up to four metres height, so it's going to clear the vehicle and be nice and uh, visible and uh, hopefully attract the attention. So the sections push together, they're colour coded, making it very easy to identify which bits go together. So for the bottom two sections we've got red and red, and the upper two sections yellow and yellow. Right, that's our pole assembled. Next stage is the flag. Just unwrap it. There's a little pocket at the bottom edge of the flag. Find it and push the tip of the pole in, and then using the cord, just pull the flag along the pole. As it goes along the flag, it, the pole curves, takes on the shape of the flag. Right, once it's up to the top, grab my cord, pass it into this little fitting, which is called a cleat. It's got teeth so that it grips onto the rope and holds the flag in shape. A little bit of tension, not, not too much, it's just enough to hold the flag and no more. And that's it, our flag's ready. Right, the next stage is the installation of the base, and this is called a drive-on base, and it's designed to be used in conjunction with a car. Best done with two people, this part of the job. So I'm going to ask my colleague to bring the car forwards. Right, very simple now. The base is secure. I'm going to lift the flag. Place it over the base, making sure that there's no chance that the flag and the car can touch each other. That way there's no chance of any damage. And we're done. <laughs> 